So, uh, you can uh, really leverage your money well with uh, $1 options. It's been a, a strategy that I've worked, I worked on for a number of years because you know what? A lot of people like to buy cheap options uh, and then they blow up their account and then they think, I'll never do that again. And the reality is you need to figure out how to leverage these great moves in stocks, folks. I mean, it's been a phenomenal trading year. I'm sure, Fosso, you'd agree. It's just been a really one of the best years in memory. Everybody else is talking to me about how 2020, they can't wait for the year to be over. And I'm like, I would love another trading year like 2020. Sure, we don't want a pandemic to go with it. But you know what? You need to be taking advantage of these moves, folks. So we're going to walk with you, you through how to right, make sure that you, yeah. Really quick, um, it looks like your screen is uh, sharing your notes on the right too. Yeah, I don't want. I don't. I'm on the wrong screen there. Let me try a new share there. That. It'll do uh, screen number two. Thank you, sir. I thought it wasn't sharing properly. Let's see, we got the full yeah, screen up there. Perfect. Baseball. You know, it's a World Series time, Fosso. So it's it's great to be able to talk about a baseball analogy right in the middle of the World Series. You know, uh, that you know most people are out there looking for singles in this market because they've been uh, you know kind of so so either beat up by their past uh, issues that they've had in trading or they've heard people that haven't done well in trading and they're missing these bigger opportunities to make doubles triples and home runs and so basically that's what i want to walk folks through so what we don't do in this strategy is we don't go for the small fish we really are looking for the bigger moves the bigger opportunities we're not just trying to get on first base we're trying to go for at least second base which is at least a double in trading terms of course that's a hundred percent gain on your money what do you do if you double your money in any investment in my opinion whether it's a stock an option bitcoin futures forex if i get a double on anything folks i sell half of it no matter how good it looks no matter how good you feel you know let's face it we all want more wins and less losses in our portfolio but you're going to feel really good when you get a double and yet my experience is those are the trades that you need to be able to keep a part of your money going for even bigger gains. I don't know about you, but for me, when I'm right, I tend to be right really quickly and right bigger than, than, than I expect a lot of times. And when I'm wrong, I tend to stay wrong. And so the reality is you've got to be more impatient with your winners, hang in there for at least uh, half the position. We go for the next target of a triple, which is a 200% gain. We sell half of our remaining investment and then we're going for our final piece the the four bagger is a 300 percent return on your money that's where we sell our final piece at a 300 percent gain now that doesn't happen every trade but the point being that you know when you get just even one of these even if you were doing it the way i'm going to teach you here today which is if you just started with four contracts and a, a dollar option means you're controlling 100 shares of stock for 100 bucks um, on an option trade so that means if you buy four of these to do this proper capital allocation for, it costs you no more than 400 bucks and sometimes less we buy a half dollar option it costs you a couple hundred bucks you sell two of them out and when you double your money from 400 to 800 you take another piece out when you're up another 300 bucks on that triple and then the final piece is worth 400 bucks on that last contract you'd make 1100 bucks uh profit off of that uh, $400 investment. So it's one of those things where one of those trades making you a grand on just 400 bucks, it makes it really fun to trade again. And that's what I love about this strategy. So we're gonna walk you through it, teach you about gamma, teach you about the, the elements of the indicators and go into a lot of case studies. Now, if you said, well, so why should you care? If you were following this approach and never putting more than a thousand bucks into any one trade, that basically you start with 10K, you'd be up to 33 and a half thousand as of uh, uh, the end of September. So basically uh, we update our numbers at the end of every month for these little graphics. And basically the point being that, you know, the leverage is there, you know, you say, sure, it's been a good market, but the reality is we've done well in up markets, we've done well in down markets. And the key is knowing that where the opportunity is and knowing how to strike. Past performance does not guarantee future results. Uh, and, and so you wanna keep that in mind as well. So let's just look at an example here. This is AMD. I don't know how many of you might trade AMD advanced micro devices. It, Everybody's always talking about Apple and Facebook, but AMD has been on a phenomenal tear over the last few years. It's one of the best performing stocks in the S&P 500 the last two years. Um, and so the point being that you know it's, it's a chip stock, and the key is we've got indicators here that we want to talk about. We're not going to we're not going to get into more than just three key elements that make this uh, service up. And the the big thing that I want to kind of highlight for you all today that the way that I'm different at big trends, you know, I've been trading. If you don't know me, I've been trading for now over 30 years. I graduated from Duke University. The, then 
the classic early mistake I made was I thought I was smarter than the market. I thought because of a great education, because I did my homework, and I know you all have been there too. You do a lot of work. You study all this stuff. You investigate these companies. You figure out when they're making money, when they're losing money. You say, I've got the surefire bet, and then it doesn't fire. And you're like, well, I'll hang in there. It's got to come around. My research has got to be right. And guess what? A lot of times if the market doesn't validate you, you don't get paid. And worse yet, you, you lose. You can't dig in in the markets. You got to stay flexible. But the point being that what I've learned is that when something goes, quote, over bought like amd did back here we've got a few indicators here this top one here is what's called the cci we're going to get into these that's the commodity channel index the percent r larry williams percent range indicator this bottom line this green line here is the one we want to look at is the adx it wasn't close to firing on that first setup that first attempt that amd made this is back in uh, you can see on this chart went back to uh, early to late july when we made the trade but the early july trade when it sets up like that, it's got to get through those highs going forward. This is called confirmation. And one of the things that you see on this chart is that it's a big X. It does not keep going. It tries, it sets up, and it fails. And the big part of trend trading is that you see lots of what I call fake outs that are not the true breakouts. And a lot of times the first attempt is a fake out. And if you tried to buy there and you got burned, and then the next time it truly breaks out, you go, oh, uh, you know, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me, right? You're going, okay, well, this is starting to set up again here. But look, two days later, that first day it doesn't confirm, but the second day it does. That's the confirmation check, check mark. We want to get on board this. We were in there buying this next morning here on this red negative candle. We were briefly down for the day. This is, by the way, all these charts I'm showing you are daily charts. We keep it really simple here with this strategy. You don't have to monitor every second. I know Fausto is more of an expert at that than I am. Bottom line is that I'm an expert at finding the bigger trends and riding the heck out of them and getting the more for your money. And the bottom line is that for me, okay, so we buy in there, we're down about 30% on this aggressive option after one day. I don't want you to think that it never loses or that you never have to endure trades that are occasionally down or may finish down. That's why I say never commit uh, more than your risk capital and don't overcommit on any one trade. Even if it's going great, um, you know, we want to say never commit more than 10% of the capital you allocate to trade the service into any new trade. So if you got a 10 grand account, don't put more than a thousand bucks into a trade. It's just bad capital management if you get that greedy. Okay, if you got a five thousand dollar account don't put more than 500 bucks in you can still do that with 500 bucks a trade on this service so the point being that okay now it's, it's we're in that trade we're waiting for it to fire we're in at a buck a hundred hundred uh dollars per contract controlling um share the 100 shares on every one of those contracts well with a right to buy at 75 and look where the stock was when we purchased that it was uh, right off of that open right up there it was in the neighborhood of about 61 bucks now note a 60 a stocks at 61 why would you buy a 75 strike call it means a right to buy the stock at 75 it's 14 points below that why not buy in the open market because we're buying an option that gives us the right to potentially do something with that option and turn it into stock later and we're never going to exercise that right with this strategy we're just trying to take advantage of the fact that as it goes from out of the money to you see it gets up here into the low 70s it's it about 72 bucks it never even gets to 75 and we're able to sell out at 100 then 200 percent and then the final piece was sold on that last bar there at 300% that morning, cashed it out, sold it, and said, thank you very much, we're done, we're out. Whether it goes on to a 500 or a thousand percent gain, I don't care because all I wanna do is catch my piece. I call it taking the meat out of the middle of the move, what I call the sweet spot of the trend. As it just kicks off and you get that confirmation, there's likely to be a flood of initial buyers trying to get a piece of that too. Let's face it, you, me, and everybody else out there, out there wants trades that are moving in our favor and wants to get rid of trades that aren't. So the bottom line is that you're getting on that train. And as I said, it's not just about winning, it's also about knowing how to manage your losses. Babe Ruth to me, as we're in the baseball season here, World Series time here, uh, Mr. October, but also, you know, you can see his career home run record, 714 career home runs. What you may not know is that, look at this stat here, 1,330 career strikeouts almost double his number of home runs and yet he was at six some would say seven time world champion well the first one i didn't count because he never played even a single at bat or pitch on the red sox when they first won with him on board but you know two world series for the red sox all you yankee fans glad that he was traded to the uh, the, the, what they called the curse of the Bambino when the Red Sox traded him away, then they, they didn't win another championship for a century, right? But the point being that this is what I see a lot of traders having trouble with. This four letter word called fear. It's probably the most uh, uh, brutal word, even more than the other four letter words you might think of, because fear 
is what's holding a lot of people back from making great money in the markets because you're afraid of striking out. You may, you may have had that experience, heard somebody that did. And that's why I say, okay, you know what? That fear is holding you back and it's getting in your way. It's preventing you from hitting those home runs and really growing your portfolio and enhancing your, your wealth and, and building your family's future as well.